<laughs> Enjoying that Jack Daniels and Coke, Paul? Mate, it's fucking sweet. Thanks to yeah. Coldly Cave. Paul, can you can you do that uh, bit that you the song before this one that you did? Once again, just go quickly. That the one that we think would be snipped up by that director that made Pulp Fiction, Quentin Tarantino. I think he'd like this too. I see it. Written by Henry VIII of all people. No idea. Sleeves. Green, green sleeves, yes. Green sleeves. Palm cheeks. This serial in English t TV came out a few years ago, two, three years ago maybe? Six years ago. Now. Called The Detectorists. The Detectorists. It's a really nice uh, serial. Is it called a serial? Series. Series. And uh, both Gav and Kieran liked it. I liked it. And I suggest if you guys haven't watched it, it's, uh, it's brilliant. Anyway, over and out. <laughs> I need a cider and a bit of straw hanging out on there. I'll play this. How's it going, dude? Okay. Good. What's up? Here we got Tony. Tony's been. Uh, we just got this little jetting drill. This little kit is designed to drill off where's the jet little jets like this come on baby okay it's not gonna happen yeah tony's been opening these uh, jets for our ford pop edelbrock carburetor you get these little gauges jet gauges uh, and basically you measure your current jet and if you want to go up or down you well you can't go down can you <laughs> You can only go up. An anti-head drill. So Tony's uh, just been drilling out the jets. Have you done them both? Yeah. Okay. And he's just going to measure them up now. See, I think we're about... 1.4 now. Yeah. We might have gone a little bit too big because the jet kit didn't come with the, the 1.3. So we're going to pop the Edelbrock carburetor off. Yeah. Take the jets out. Holly, Holly. Sorry, yeah, Holly. Get it right. And... Uh, try the new jets in because we've got a bit of a flat spot in the mid range. So that's that. And yeah, the other thing is, yeah, guys, some of you have moaned because we haven't been doing updates on Kate. Uh, this is my work here. We've got 
This is a new plate I've been working on uh, for the um, this bit here, whatever it's called. Yeah, it will go in there somehow, some sometime. Uh, trying to repair my strimmer, and also we've got this motor here that we're going to try and. We rebuilt these very old Webers. These are 1962-65 sort of year. And uh, they're old 40 DCOE2 carburetors. They're pretty valuable because they belong to um, Alfa Romeo Giulia um, Speciale, which is quite a nice sought after Italian car of the 60s. These needed new spindles and new throttle valves because they were worn and they were leaking air. So. Gavery built these and uh, I fitted them on the, the engine yesterday. I haven't got an exhaust tailpipe here so we've got a few flames coming out yesterday. And we're going to have another go at firing this up. If they're good, uh, we won't need to open them up again. And we'll clean them up and put them up for sale. If not good, then we'll have to open them up and see what's the situation. Would you like some light on the subject, dude? Oh yeah, please put some light on the subject. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, voila. It's raining here. It's raining here. It's raining here. It's raining here. I've got bowling tonight. You got wet. bowling tonight. I'm gonna get wet. Gonna get wet. I'm gonna get wet. What's all this thing? That's a fuel hose. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> I what? did these. What do you think of your carburetors, dude? They look awesome. Yeah. Might have to uh, be blasted. Oh, I'll set that up now and I'll do the zinc plating for them. Yeah, that's a good idea. This is this is it here. I'll put a link down to, on the description, guys, if any of you want a fuel pump for side draft Webers or Delortos. This is probably good for around 200 horsepower or something around that, depending on how long you apply the horsepower. It's definitely going to be good for us for this. Gav's setting up his zinc plating kit. Got to rebuild that little uh, Solex PICT carburetor in a bit. I've got the service kit here, and we're going to get on with that very shortly. Are you doing a dance? I was. I watched a little bit of the IT crowd last night. Yeah. And there's um, the, one of the main guys in it, mm. Renham's son. Mm. Does a great dance. He does like these things. We bought new a new refill kit the chemicals for the zinc plater yeah it was a bit uh, used up yes so we've replaced it all we're getting some nice results with oh it. we're getting some very got nice a new results. nice bar got yeah. a new water pump in there agitators on agitators heaters on midgetators and all that and oh dude is that battery fully charged now Oh yeah, it's on the green. It's green, yeah. Good, 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 that means it's good then, yeah? Yeah, that's what we're going to use to crank the pin top. Crank. Okay. You want to disconnect it, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that zinc chemical stuff. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Smells it? good. That's what turns uh, yellowy, green, goldy. Tony's uh, lent us his monster uh, welder. Put the shirt on it. It's a very nice uh, welder. Cross arc and getting used to this it's a bit posher than the little one i've been using which is brilliant but it's having a rest and we're going to uh, get onto that little pinto and fire it up set those carbs up so they work beautifully we what, what we were looking for is a very smooth rhythmical idle low idle like 900 950 pop 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 or whatever and that that's when i feel confident that there's no air leaks Carbs look lovely, so um, yeah, and then we'll put them up for sale for someone in the world that wants to fit them on an old Alfa Romeo. Here you go, dude. Where I go? Have we got a new one already? No. I'm going to do this. Let's have a look at the old screws. This is what they look like now. Yeah. And when they come out, after I've done them, they'll Okay, those are top cover, bottom cover, and idle mixture screws, yeah? Yeah. Sweet. They're going to be mint. Give me an hour, about an hour. One hour? One hour. You've got 15 minutes. Okay. It's a good start. Watch it, dude. It's a good start. Your sieves are falling all over the place. I like the way that they put these metal things. Yeah. Mm. We use waste. that, that helps us uh, bead blast things that are small in the bead blaster. 
Also helps us ultrasonic some more fucking hell, dude. What are you they're, doing? They're really fiddling. <laughs> Hey chaps, we've fitted the bigger jets and it sounds really good. Right, Tony, Tony's the maestro here. In a bit, dude. In a bit, mate. Thank you. Tony, give it the beans, man. Yeah, let's give it a good, right. good old doodle. All right. All right. Well, it's a bit wet. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be a bit gentle with it. <laughs> do what you can. I'll do my best. I'm, I'm no James Bay then.
uh, upset now that you've nothing left to we'll do? We'll always find something new to do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll always find something new to do. Mate, you're a legend, man. You can tell he's good when your arsehole's twitchy. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gav? Yeah? What's going on with the camera, man? Uh, it is a beauty to drive now, dude. Absolutely beauty. I'm looking forward to going. Yeah. It's a bit faster than it was. Yeah. yeah. And it's a lot smoother than it was. Well done, yeah. Got the congratulations from Mr. Ray. Alright, let's open this uh, Edelbrock micro fuel pump. Micro bomba de combustible. Do you need a hammer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, the name of that hammer again? Milnia. Milnia? Yeah. Apparently that's the name of Thor's hammer. hammer. It was forged in the, in the heart of a dying sun. Forged in the heart of a dying sun. It's so dramatic. And I said to you, well, who went into the heart of a dying sun to forge a freaking didn't do it. They built an endoskeleton around the sun. Right. In space. Instructions. And uh, there's like a port <coughs> portal. A portal. <coughs> Which um, allows the sunlight to come through it to the point where they've got the metal in the in the, the cauldron. Yeah. It shoots through, melts the metal. Yeah. And then it's knocked out into a mould, just like so, any other mould. Sounds very possible. Yeah. Right, please study these instructions, Cal. Take that thing off. Come on, Billy. So there's our wires. Positive and negative, or positive and earth. I like the colour. That's one of them's going to be in, the other one's going to be out. Take that off. Flow is that way. See that says, uh, says flare. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now we're going to need to put this little fuel filter on it, and it might want us to uh, put some. Have you got any PTFE tape, dude? Right. Instructions. Prior to starting the installation, make sure to eliminate all potential fire hazards. Yes. These pumps are compatible with farm lawn, garden equipment, as well as fuel transfer systems and booster pump applications. Barbed filter. This is called a barbed filter. And then we've got a 5 16th barb. Okay, these things are called barbs. Fuel line to engine, fuel line from tank. Pump mount, caution, below the general guideline, the fuel pump must be mounted at or below the lowest point of the tank. Right, okay. Uh, the pump must also be within one foot of the fuel tank as it's designed to push fuel. No problem. Apply thread sealer to the threads of the supplied fuel filter. Yeah, that, that needs a thread sealer, dude. I think I might have some somewhere. Do not use, it says do not use Teflon tape, so we can't use that. Can't use that? No. Attach the fuel line from the tank, yeah, or blah, 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 blah. All right, so these are for the fuel pump. Right, let's get on with the installation. Perfect. Can you get me a small sandwich? Small what? Clipper. Yes, please. Cutter. A small zip tie. Yes, please. There you go. Sweet dude. Well, I'll lock that off. How do you feel about your carburetor restoration effort, dude? Positive. That's the one we had on Kate, isn't it? Yeah. It's raining. 
It's a lot cooler. It's lovely now. Days, isn't it? It's just my temperature now. So. What about me? It's my temperature as well, Rich. You've had your temperature, it's my temperature now. <laughs> Share, dude. Mm -hmm. Juice. Dinosaur juice. That should be enough, huh? Half a tank. Mm. Well, a third of a tank. Uh, okay. The leaves. No leaks. How are we going to stop the fuel from going in? It's, it's just recycling itself. You can leave that running now. Dude. Okay. Right. I've never dealt with one. Oh, oh shit. shit! Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh. Quick, turn it off. Something's not right, dude. The battery's covered in fume. Yeah. You can't use that now. Dude, that was a fire hazard. Man, these carburettors are soaked. Okay, I think we're going to have to t take the tops off, dude, and see what's wrong. Right. My carburettors are poorly. I did something wrong, dude. I did put everything back as it said it was. Got gaskets on the top. That's, I don't know, the gaskets are all there. Oh, sh**. Big screws are falling in. Dude, this needle valve is loose. You forgot to tighten the needle valve, dude. Film it, film it. That's my fault. Yeah, that, that was loose. All right, so that might be our fault, dude. Yeah. Easily done, but now you know. Next time, yeah? Okay, dude, so we'll just do that up, check them out quickly, and then try again, but that's why it would have overfueled, dude. Because it's just letting the tons fuel, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not, it's not uh, creating it's my a my fault. Sorry, dude. And this was, the, this was that carburettor as well. Correct. Okay, you can turn it off for them. Can you fish out the screws that fell in, please? Yeah. Okay, that's the second attempt. You said you were just going to set it up. Pump's working. Is it dripping? Nope. That little pump makes a nice, gentle, constant noise. Not a Got. Some new missabs, pump exhaust jets, uh, needle valves, these are pump jets, and these are 29 mil chokes. Right, these are specifically for these carburetors, Julieta Spring Veloz. So there we go. Tony and I are gonna put the new chokes and jets on these. And we're going to fire it up and see what happens. What's the matter, Mr. Tony? Well, we're just fishing about with some carburetors again, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We found that the, the the fuel float, which I threw in the bin. I pull one of these floats out. Can you hear that? It's basically um, leaking um, fuel. So obviously that doesn't keep the right level because it sinks so that's going in the bin and fitting a couple of new ones it's a huge cost I'm gonna put that one on this and we're gonna get back on it aren't we because the pump jets were leaking it's about good hmm it's about good it's about good yeah oh you wanted this tear tone you want this mate right the the correct float level for this between yeah. the gasket and the bottom of the float needs to be 8.5 mil and this tells you it's 8 mil that side and 9 mil the other 
right and it's also got the, these machined grooves are to, to accept to, to read that so you slide it under there upside down turn up to turn it that's it but what you want to do tone is you want to have you want to hold it at an angle because if you see right, if you see oh, this, this is depressing okay the needle valve you don't want it to depress the needle valve so you want to hold it at an angle so when it's just touching when the it's just touching the ball that's what you want yeah but you to do that you might want to hold it um vertical well i've kind of got you it you kind of got it yeah okay and then slide it in and 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 kind of get a feel for what measurement one of the ends of the tool is eight mil and it should say it and the other end is, is nine mil no slide it under slide the tool under is that the nine mil one yeah yeah and it's lifting the float up isn't it yeah okay now do the other side of the tool that's it oh i got it there you, you got oh, it i got it yeah so that's eight yeah Oh, it just touches there. Oh, missed. Oh, never no, to miss the seams. I've got you. That's it. The, the grooves are to miss the seams. Ah, oh. knowing your tools. See, as it has it got it's got the grooves there to miss the uh, different float uh, seam stuff. So right. in theory, then yep. you can hold all this in place like that. Hmm. That's just touching at eight. So that means we've got, it's, it's just starting, it's over eight mil then. Yeah, it's eight and a half mil we want it to be. Yeah. Before it depresses the little ball. Yeah. Is that where we're at? That's about right. Okay, that's good. That's what we need. Hey chaps, just wanted to chuck this in that, that we've lost a lot of footage because uh, the, the, the microphone camera, no, the camera's microphone switch plug was not plugged in fully. We, we've missed a hell of a lot of work that we did on the carbs that some of you might have um, wanted to watch if you're in the, mean, in, in the process of rebuilding your carburetor. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so this is a bit of a disappointment for me this morning because I didn't know the camera was filming all these days with a freaking microphone half in, half out. Anyway, I've seen there's a video now that the engine's running, so I'll put that on. Not good, but hey ho dudes, onwards and upwards. So, that's why we haven't got a lot of uh, footage of the engine running. What? It is a different motor, isn't it? Tony had to go because he's got to do some work for someone and uh, we found out that actually the problem is the throttle valves are not sitting well on this carburetor. Um, this one here. I put the, uh, the flow meter on it. This was reading about seven or eight. This was reading about three. So that's been our problem all along. This one is not as bad. So it's a carb off job. Uh, and fettle and then put back on again and test so it's a bit of a pain in the ass these are the anti-vibration grommets stop the carbs frothing up oh yeah it's on the throttle then. oh man it's a two hand job isn't it So it's this throttle valve here that's letting a lot of air in and it's not something that's quite as evident as you'd think. I can show you the fault. Can you see that? That's bad as well but not as bad. See that? Now the fault is here right, these are non-original parts. And the spindle, the spindle groove, no, not a groove, what's it called? The slot. The spindle slot 
is too wide for these throttle valves and the throttle valves are not a, a sort of press fit if you like a press fit you know snug fit in the slot and they keep shifting and sliding and if you tighten the butterfly screws it compresses the spindle where to grab the, the butterfly and it distorts I've had a look at this one and it's pretty freaking perfect to be fair I know you guys can't see it but when I put it up against the light we've got very good ceiling I've got a choke in there now that's the choke out anyway that's, I'm happy with that so uh, I'm going to build this back up again and then I'm going to fit them and I'm going to have another go I'm just putting new um, Nisab gasket seals between that's the intake manifold the ones we were using I'm pretty sure were okay but I just want to make sure plant the carburetors Okay, let's make some noise. Fuel pump on. Fuel hose. Uh, this thing here. Okay. Let's go. sound like poop they sound like poop oh, we keep losing alright guys I just uh, tightened up the mishap plate uh, the seals between the parts of the manifold it sounds pretty steady now I'm going to do a bit of idle speed idle mixture adjusting and I'm going to put the balancer on it see if the two spindles are balanced
What are you packing, dude? SU carburetor for a customer. Oh. And beautifully restored. Oh, can we see it? No. Why not? I've packed it. Oh, come on, man. I've, honestly, I've wrapped it, tied it up and everything. It's all tight. I can just show you what might be underneath. But that's about it. Oh. Okay. What SU was it? Do you know? For a Mini, 1.3. Okay. Yeah. What do we do on it? Not a lot, really. <laughs> what do you mean, not a lot? It's because me and Tony did it. <laughs> While you were out playing bowls. Yeah, I didn't do anything, did you? Other than the top. Poly I'll polishing polish. the, the dash pot? Yeah, I polished the dash pot till it was like glass, really. You've just watched us uh, sort these little carbies out. Gav, can we unbolt these now, clean them up with uh, some nice carb cleaner so they uh, smell nice and they've got no petrol in them and then we're going to list them for sale. We yeah? Are. I might even put a link under this video if I remember, which is unlikely. Uh, so you, one of you guys, lucky guys, can pay us 900 quid to, <laughs> fit, to fit them on an old banger. These are the spindles that came out of the, those Webbers. Nice old brass they're spindles. They're nice, but they're worn. They are worn, so. No go. Oh yeah, you've got the, the paperwork for the carburetors. Just the, uh, that gave us all the calibration. It's got winter calibration, right on this row. That's winter and that's summer. Sorry, other way around, summer, winter. Last night, I finished welding the uh, this thing here, a post or whatever it's called, in and out, bottom and top. Not the prettiest, but it's gone through. <laughs> and we've marked where the door hinge likes to sit. And uh, so I'm gonna. How much is that safe ourselves? We haven't finished yet. When when this is in. This little panel here, we will have saved ourselves about 1,400 quid. Wow. Well, we're hoping, yeah, if the work's good and it stays on, we'll have saved ourselves 1,400 pounds. Uh, there's a bit of a big gap here. Oh, the, 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 the hinge, I need to weld these three spots in as well. Uh, so this, this is a bit of a big cut there, so that might need a little piece of putting in. But now I've got to work on this thing here. And then we're going to pull out from Donna. We're going to go outside and cut Donna's thing out for the right hand drive wing screen wiper jobby. That's the, that's where the one of the holes is going to be. Obviously we've got to cut in there to fit them, the spindle. And uh, on and on it goes. But yeah, it's, uh, Yeah, I reckon we'll be done in a week. Yeah. You can't see from here, but it's good. It's good. We might have some uh, some new wheels soon. Um, really? Might, and we're not going to say anything because last time we did, nothing happened. Uh, what else? Uh, anything else to declare, guys? We've got some nice new mugs coming. Enamel tin enamel mugs with our faces on and our rusty love stuff. Also got some hoodies, t-shirts, caps, uh, for all of you to gorge on. Gorge. Gorge your <laughs> yeah. bonnets. Yeah. That, Gav's just made us a lovely breakfast. And we're going to crack on with those carburettors to advertise them. Uh, we're going to edit this video, Gav, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? We are. Are we? That means you. What do you mean me? No. no I'll edit it. And then we'll crack on with cake. Uh, I think we could do with a bit of cleaning the shop a bit because all the sparks and the grinding and all of it's going everywhere and it's not ideal for our workshop environment but sometimes you just got to go ahead haven't you sometimes you just have to make a bit of a mess okay we're gonna go now say goodbye dude goodbye dude <laughs> have a nice day guys thanks for watching